Listen to that song, the Baga song playing right now, talking about you shouldn't forget about God who took you from your bandage, your bandage of sin, the bandage of poverty, the bandage of struggling, have nothing to eat. You beg before you eat. You have to eat from the floor. You have to hustle before you eat. But if God, that has taken you from that position, that kind of life that you were in, and now has put you in a very good place, a place that now you can work and take good salary, now you can eat, you want to become a doctor, now you have become a doctor. You want to become an engineer, now you have become an engineer. I want to be big, so you have become, I want to be a carpenter, I want to be a Macy, I want to drive a car, I want to own my own house, I want to do this and that and that. After you have become all these things, sorry, because it's cold at my end. After you have become whoever you want to be, don't forget that there is somebody, there is a God that took you from that life. Listen, many of times we Christians, we begin to love God. We pretend to love God. We pretend to uh, 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 pray to appreciate God the more when we are in need, when we need money, when we want to write exams, especially where I come from in Ghana. When it's time for us to go and write exams, B, C, W, C. That is when the schools will gather the students to go and pray. We'll bring men of God to pray in the, in the secondary schools. That's why they, they'll be going to the SU, be praying, doing things, sowing seed. After the student, after we have finished writing our exams, that is when we begin to go to the to the uh, the dance the, the dancing places. We begin to go to the club to go and uh, to go and make us so called happy. To go and uh, to go to go and dance to go and do whatever it is because we have computer school. We are so excited. We have to enjoy ourselves. Forgetting that before you wrote your exams, you pray to one someone to give you the grace to give you the success for you to write your exams. But now that you finish the exams. You now know what to do. You now know how to go to the club. You know how to go and make yourself happy. To drink alcohol. To break, uh, to, to smoke shisha. To whatever, whatever, whatever. That is how can we are so hypocritical. We are so hypocrites. We begin to love God when we are in need. But after we get to what we want, then we begin to do whatever we want. Which is bad. I am telling you. It's really, really bad. And it will destroy your life. It is going to destroy your life. God is not someone you can cheat off. God is not someone. God doesn't need you. It is you that need God. That is why we don't need to be hypocrites. That is why we always have to do which is right. This morning, this afternoon, this evening, I am entreating you. Listen, if you call yourself a Christian, you have accepted Christ as a Lord and personal Savior, and you are serious and want to make it to heaven, then please. Stay away. Stop the hypocrisy. Love God. Appreciate God. Serve God well. So that your life will be bright. So that God will lead you to where He is leading you to. So that God will direct you to reach where He wants you to be. But you can't pray to God when you need marriage. You can't pray to God when you need job, when you need money. And when God gives it to you, then you begin to do whatever you want. Then now, it is hard for you to pray. It is hard for you to come to church. It is hard for you to serve the God who has made you to become who you are now. Don't forget about God. Bravo, Musa. Yeah, yeah, Mawa. Ayakai. Ah, remember, remember, remember what God has done for you. Remember who you were in few, uh, some years ago. Now that, you know, most of the times, some of us, when we want to travel, that is why we love God, that is why we appreciate God. But when God gives us the travel message, when God gives us the document that we need, when we begin to get whatever that we need, and when we get them into to the state, to the whatever country, that is why we begin to show us true colors. We think we are smarter than God. Some of us think that we are smarter than God. Let's see, we are not smarter than God. I'm smarter than you. Before you take action, before you do whatever you are doing now, God already knows. You are not smarter than God. God loves you. Stop the hypocritical life. Appreciate God more. 
When God gives you what you want in life, appreciate Him more, love Him more, and He will go to brighten your life. He is going to make your life bright. God loves you, that you think, I love you so much. God bless you.